Hello students, welcome to Allen Overseas. In this video, we'll be learning a special formula form logarithm. You might have seen this formula many times. We'll see why exactly we get it like this and what are different questions we can solve using this formula. This things we will be learning in this video. Like the formula here is a to the power log of x to the base a is equal to x. So we are just getting this x term as a result. So why do we get it like this? That we'll see in this video and we'll definitely see few questions based on this. In our earlier videos, like we have seen that a few of the difficult questions of the fourth degree in x, we have reduced it to quadratic and we have solved those. If you have missed those videos, then we are providing links for those videos in the description. So just watch those videos later after this video. Now let's see why we are getting a raised to log of x to the base a is equal to x. See, we know that if suppose if we assume log of x to the base a is equal to suppose y. So this is a logarithmic equation and we very well know that for the logarithm, uh, logarithmic equation can be easily converted to exponential form like we can write here base a and to the this base a we can take a power as y then we get a result x. Now in this equation itself what you do in place of a I'll just write a but in place of this y just see in place of this y what I'll do I'll put y equal to log of x to the base a. So in place of this y, I'll put here what log of x to the base a and what I'm getting, I'm getting this x. So have you proved here? Yeah, definitely we got it what we wanted. So a to the power log of x to the base a, we just get x. So it does mean that whenever in future you come across log of something in the power and that has base a and this whole term is in the power of some number again a then the result to this you should get is just star. So this you remember. Like suppose if I ask you what is 2 raised to log of 7 to the base 2, then you should quickly say that without even any hesitation, you should quickly tell the answer should be 7. Now on the basis of this, suppose if I ask you a question. Suppose I have here 2 raised to log of sin x to the base root 2. And here I have 4 is to log of cos x to the base 2. So can you just imagine what will be the answer to this? So here I have 2. So this 2 I can write you know what root 2. But because here I have root 2. So in place of this 2 if I write 2 then I need to take its power 2. Then only this 2 can be written as root 2 square. Well this power will get multiplied with this power log of sin x to the base root 2. Okay. And here we have again 4 and 2 which are not matching. So actually we learned a formula wherein this base a and base of log both are matching. Then we say that the answer is x. But here unfortunately this 2 and root 2 is not matching. Therefore I have just adjusted this base in terms of root 2. Here also I will adjust this 4 in terms of 2. So I will get here 2 rest to 2 as 4 and with this 2 I will get this term log of cos x to the base 2. Now what I can do? I can take this 2 which is multiplier of log as a power of sin. So I'll get here sin square. And in a similar fashion, I can take this 2 as a power of cos. So just look now what you are getting. Root 2 to the power log and 2 to the power log. Here the base of log is root 2. Here the base of log is 2. So this root 2 and root 2 is matching. And here this 2 and 2 is matching. So our final answer should be what? To this first term, our answer should be sin square x. To this second term, our answer should be cos square x. So finally, I would say I am getting sin square x plus cos square x and eventually the answer is 1. I hope you understood this. Now let's see another question. Here it is given that 7 to the power log and again the base is 7 and we are calculating log of what x square minus 4x plus 5 is equal to x minus 1. Then we need to find out the value of x. So let's see how we can find out the value of x. So definitely I can straight away write this as what? x square minus 4x plus 5 because this 7 and this 7 has match. So my answer should be just x square minus 4x plus 5 for this term. And on the right side, I have what? x minus 1. So if I take this x on the left side, I'll get x square minus 4x minus x minus 5x. And this minus 1, if I take on the left side, I'll get 5 plus 1, that is x equal to 0. So this is a quadratic equation in x we are getting and we are very well knowing how to factorize it. So I'll get its factor as one x plus 2 and another factor will be x plus 3 and product of these two factors will be 0. Is it? 
or should I get x minus 2 and x minus 3? Yeah, I should get x minus 2 and x minus 3 as the factors. So if the product of these two factors is 0, then definitely I will say that x will be equal to 2 or x will be equal to 3. But once you are getting these solutions, don't rely on these solutions. Because here these are the questions based on logarithm and you might be knowing that we cannot calculate the logarithm of negative terms. We cannot calculate uh, negative values logarithm. Therefore, if you are calculating here log of x square minus 4x plus 5, this x square minus 4x5 should not be negative. So if you are putting x equal to 2, then you will get what? So suppose in this expression, in place of this x square minus 4x plus 4, 5, if you put x equal to 2, you will get here 2 square minus 4 into 2 plus 5 and that is going how much? 4 plus 5, 9 minus 8, 1 you are getting and that 1 is not negative. Therefore, this solution is acceptable. For 2, you are not getting negative and th for 3 also will not get negative. It does mean that you are not getting the term whose logarithm you are calculating is not negative. So, these solutions are acceptable. But for in some other cases, you may get that some of the term is going negative. Then even though you are getting solutions, those solutions will not be acceptable. Clear? We'll now have a look at this another question. Here you see a to the power log of c to the base b is equal to c to the power log of a to the base b. So just look here on a left hand side and right hand side, you'll come to know that base b of logarithm is constant steady. But this a and c terms have exchanged. Just look. In place of a, we have here c. In place of c, here we have a. So what they are saying? that whenever we have such property like a to the power log of b, c to the base b we have, then we can straight away write this as c to the power log of a to the base b. But our question is why we can do so is our question. Can you think, I mean, why we are getting it like this? If you think you can solve this, then just pause the video and give a try. See. When these two are equal, it does mean that suppose 2 raised to log of 5 to the base 3 is there, then you can straight away write this as what? 5 to the power log of 2. But the base 3 will be same here. But why we are getting all this stuff? So let's see why we are getting it like this. For example, let's start with LHS. What is LHS here? LHS is a to the power log of c to the base b. Now we know that This a can be written as what b to the power log of a to the base b. But why should I write it like this? Because you know on the right side I have here base c. So instead of writing this a as b to the power log of a to the base b, you can even write a as c to the power log of a to the base c. So to have a base c on the right side, this a should be written in terms of c. So a we can write in terms of c like this, isn't it? So this LHS will become what? This LHS will become in place of a, I'll write what? c, but power will be log of a to the base c. So this is my a, are you getting? This is a. So in place of this a, I have written this much stuff because a is c to the power log of a to the base c. This is what is a formula which we are learning today. So but this a has power log of c to the base b. Therefore, there I will write in the power log of c to the base b. Now we got base c, we wanted base c, so we got it. But now in the power of c, we are getting two log term, log of a to the base c and log of c to the base b. So just see what we get after solving this. So LHS I am getting c to the power log of a to the base c. But using change of base rule, I can write this log of a to the base c as log a by log c and this log of c to the base b which is in multiplication with this power will be log c by log b. So this I have written with the help of what? With the help of change of base rule and this log c and log c term now get cancelled and what remains here in the power of c is just log a by log b and you are finally getting here c to the power log of a by log of b. Again using a change of base rule formula, you can write this log by log term as a single log of A with the base B. And this is what is your right hand side. So just look on the right side, you wanted C to the power log of A to the base B and you got here C to the power log of A to the base B. So this property is very important. 
to solve many of the questions. Like suppose if you've been asked in the future, what is the value of 3 raised to log of 5 to the base 2 minus 5 raised to log of 3 to the base 2. So can you just imagine what will be its value? Definitely 0 because these two are looking different but they are actually same because that is what we just studied that a to the power log of c to the base b is equal to c to the power log of a to the base b. So these two are equal therefore these two must be equal and their difference should be 0. Well, I hope you might have understood. Now just see one other question for you that is for your homework. The question is the value of a raised to square root of log of b to the base a is equal to how much? And the options to this question are like this. The first option is b raised to square root of log of a to the base b. Second option is b raised to square root of log of b to the base a. Third option is 1 and last option is just 0. So this question you have to try yourself. And just don't forget to give your answers in comment box so that we can tell whether your answers are right or wrong. So that's all here on the logarithm uh, base formula that is a raised to log of x to the base a. Well, I hope you might have understood. If you have any doubts, queries or suggestion, you can put those suggestions in comment box so that we can definitely uh, revert you back. Well, so if you want more such videos on JE, be connected with Alan Overseas. Thank you.